What's up everyone? Today we'll be taking a look at the Kotobukiya Super Robot Wars uh, Cybuster. I've also seen it go as Cybuster, um, so I'm not too sure. This is number 8 in the Super Robot um, Wars series, and it's from the original generation of Super Robot Wars. I'm assuming this is a pilot, or whoever operates it. Yep. And this kit was made in 2006 and sells for 2,000 yen. I picked mine up for $20. Here is Cybaster. He is very back heavy. So making him stand will probably be quite difficult during this review. Um, but that's cool. Uh, this is a straight out of the box build. Just did some simple panel line jobs here and there, such as on the wings and stuff not too crazy um really angular kit so it has a lot of like sharp edges but overall really really nice kit um so without further ado let's take a look at him there are no stickers on this kit just give you a close-up of him yeah no stickers Something I really like that Kotobukiya does. Now let's take a look at the articulation. There is a hook joint that looks like this. Right there, two clip joints for the head so it can uh, do the chicken. Look up, down, rotate on this little, another joint underneath, side to side. The usual um as you saw a wing fell off just leave it off because it is a nuisance um the waist is on a ball joint you can see pretty limited articulation but it's not bad um arms at this point are on a ball joint so they can rotate 360 go up and down some um arm itself can go up as you saw this flap moves a rotation there it's on a ball joint up top here there is a 90 degree bend at the joint there is a another point of articulation there and then the hands on a ball joint uh, each piece uh, each skirt is on a hinge not except for the back um, this little dragon type thing is on a hinge his legs can go really far forward. Bring down his skirt. Not too far back. Oh, falling apart on me. <laughs> uh, bend at one point, uh, two points, I mean. And then uh, each little talon claw has a hinge, and then the ones on the side have an extra ball joint. And this one just can go up and down. Also, his foot can rotate. And so can this top, point, top part here. It has a bit of give. Okay, so I put them back together. <laughs> um, but And then, uh, moving on, his pieces are on ball joints, as you can see. They just peg into these poly caps. Not too securely, though, so that's cool. For accessories, take them out of the way. I'm kind of sit over there. Um, you get a uh, couple different hands options. You get a two closed fists. This is a left hand. The other one's on him. And uh, this a two open hands. This is the right one. The other one's on him. Nice detail. Okay. Then you get um, probably the best accessory of the whole kit. You get his sword, and this is um, molded in silver. There you go. And there's a holding hand. Uh, just to show you how you put these on, it's very simple. Take out the hand, and then place the new hand in. Like so. So what are my final thoughts about this kit? Um, he's an amazing build. It took me about four or five hours to make. 
Um, for my the price I got him for twenty dollars, he's an amazing buy. For the normal asking price, about forty. Um, he's an all right buy that I recommend picking up. But uh, he just has a few flaws. He falls apart sometimes, and uh, his wings are a big nuisance weight wise, and that they fall off a lot. But you can get out get some pretty good poses, <laughs> and you can even take your Gundams in. So that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.